Hi, and welcome to Mark 1 Sailing. I'm Mark, and today we're going to talk about Quick Steel. Last summer, a part of the mast of our hobby cat broke off. And this is how it looked. Now, repairing this would be very hard. I thought a professional would have to repair the whole thing, removing the base of the mast and getting a new piece. However, I found Quick Steel on the internet. If you're thinking about repairing something using Quick Steel, watch the video till the end, and you'll see where I recommend it and where I don't. At the moment, this is how much it costs on Amazon in Europe. The base of our mast is made of a rather soft metal, like aluminum or something. Usually, it's not under a lot of pressure, but whilst stepping the mast, pressure builds and you can guess how it broke off. Now, after it broke off last year, we decided to repair it ourselves with Quick Steel as a budget DIY option. It was worth a try. This is how it looked after the repair. And this is how it looks now. Pretty similar. As you can see, we used more quick steel than there was originally metal there. But handling the quick steel, I thought it probably wouldn't get as hard as the original metal at the base of the mast, and I was correct. After a few hours of hardening, I could still dent the quick steel. That's why I applied another layer of it just to be safe. Nonetheless, it held up every time we stepped the mast in the last year. And as you saw, it still looks pretty good. Even the temperature differences the quick steel went through didn't hurt it. I repaired it in early summer, and now it's midwinter. It's still holding up pretty good. And yes, we keep the mast outside. My verdict? Repairing something using quick steel is pretty easy, as you saw in my first video, linked up here. If you're trying to repair something that's not under a lot of pressure, most of the time at least, I recommend quick steel. The quick steel did what I wanted it to do. However, keep in mind, it is not as hard as metal, and definitely not as hard as steel. I would not use it to repair something that's under a lot of pressure most of the time. Hitting it with sharp objects or a hammer would definitely damage it. Using it on the base of our mast, however, I'm very satisfied, and I'd do it again. But, of course, I hope I won't have to. I hope you enjoyed this quick review on the quick steel we used to repair our masts. Next time, as it's midwinter, we're not gonna go sailing yet, but do another few repairs that are necessary on our hobby cat. See you next time, and as always, fair winds to you.